welcome to another Gaming Squad video and today we will find out how to use and install scoreboard stats for Minecraft Bucket. Um, what this plugin will do, well, I'll show you. As you can see over here it says stats and um, you can change what each column says or row. Um, for example, I've set it to online and money. Uh, these are uh, the default ones. So let's find out how to change them and what it says so let's go over to our server folder it should or something great should look something like this go into plugins and it would have made this folder go onto your config and open it with notepad plus plus if you're running it on a micro host then i don't think you'll need to open it with notepad plus plus because just open it using the um, online editor that comes with your server uh, control panel. Yeah, there you go. So, let's go through it. Um, PvP stats. This is if you want to turn on the PvP stats. I is the by default is set to true. So sleep to true. Um, disabled worlds. This is if you don't want um, the plugin to be um, enabled in certain worlds. For example, the Nether or World City. These are both set by default. Hide vanished. Um, if the player is vanished, then um, it will be um, hidden, the scoreboard thingy. Um, if you want that um, to happen, then set it to true. If you're not, then say false. Enable sound. If you want sound on it, then set it to true. If not, false. Auto update. Uh, if you want the plugin to um, update itself and update the, um, the the scoreboard, then set it to true. If not, set it to false. The title. Now, this is what. Um, title um, it should say you know um, in green when I first showed you the thing so let's just change that to notice um, as you can see we are using the essentials uh, color codes and font codes which I'll put down below um, update second delay this is how long you want um, the scoreboard to wait um, sorry uh, before it will um, refresh itself so let's just set that to one because that's a pretty good number. Okay, this is what you would like your scoreboard to show. For example, it, by default, it's set to online. That's um, how much players you're online and your money. Um, all of the uh, variables for this are shown in the bucket page for the plugin. So let's just get. Um, the ping one was ping. There we go. Let's get the ping one. Control C to copy, and go over to this. Hit enter. Um, if you're using Notepad Plus Plus, make sure that um, you press backspace to go to that, and then put in four spaces. I think it's four. Yeah, it's four spaces, and then use the speech pull quote thingy. And this is where you can change what it says um, for that row. For example, let's just put ping. Oops. Let's put a nine ping because I want it all even, don't we? And then you'll put a quote again, and then you'll put a colon, space, quote thing again, and you control V to paste it, quote thing again, that should be done. Um, temp scoreboard enabled. This is if you want the scoreboard to be on for a temporary period of time, I think. Um, Every so often, the scoreboard will change to like top kills or whatever you have set it to be. By default, it's by top kills, obviously. So um, this is what it will be. So the title will be top kills. It will be the mob kills and kill streaks. What you want, kill. The type of it will be one of these. For example, if you wanted it to, um, to show your ping, you would change the name, obviously, obviously. Sorry, you would change the name of it obviously, and you would change that to pink. The color is what color you would want um, it to be, and how many players would be displayed. Um, this is, for example, if you have it top kills, this would be the amount of players um, would be on the top list. Um, so it says items, so it's put five. And um, interval show, this is how long you want it, it to show, and how long you want it to be not on and the other one to be on which is this one what we've just made so they're fine they're set by default by the way 
So let's just hit save here. If you're using a online Minecraft thingy editor, we'll put up in there, Gus. Hey, that's useful. Um, then just hit save on that, it should be fine. Let's go onto our local host and just do a server. Oh, yeah, sorry. So we say reload to reload our plugin. And it should be on. As you can see, it says notice online ping and money. There we go, we have successfully configured scoreboard stats. Um, as you can see, I'm a bit poor, um, so let's just give myself some money. Yay! Yay! It should be fresh soon. Let's reload it. Huzzah! It probably doesn't work with the Essentials uh, Mechanic plugin, it probably only works with like um, um, I Economy and plugins like that, so that's probably why it's not working. However, the ping is working, well, I'm hosting it locally, so that's why it's on zero. But the online thing is definitely working because there's only one player online, so yep. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what plugin I should do a tutorial on next leave a comment down below about um, your thoughts on this video and what you had for tea thank you for watching and smiley faces to you all